A Stone Age woman who lived 4,000 years ago is leaning on her walking stick and looking ahead as a spirited young boy bursts into a run in a stunning life-size reconstruction now on display in Sweden. Her skeletal remains were found in 1923 in Lugmanseren, buried next to the remains of a child, likely a seven-year-old boy. The Neolithic woman and youngster were buried in a cyst grave built with long, flat stones in the shape of a coffin. With our eyes and perhaps in all times, you tend to think that this is a mother and son," said Oskar Nielsen, the Sweden-based forensic artist who spent 350 hours creating the model. The woman died in her late 20s or early 30s, and 150 centimeters in height, she was not a very tall person, even for the Neolithic period. When Nielsen began his work, two years ago, he scanned her skull and made a copy of it with a 3D printer. Nielsen had to take into account the ancient individual's sex, age, weight, and ethnicity. Factors that can influence the person's facial tissue thickness and general appearance. But because the woman's DNA was too degraded, he wasn't sure about her genetic background, hair, or eye color. So Nielsen took an educated guess about her appearance. There were three large migration waves into ancient Scandinavia. The first 12,000 and 10,000 years ago included hunter-gatherers with dark skin, who tended to have blue eyes. The second wave included pale-skinned, dark-haired, and brown-eyed farmers from further south, who moved north about 5,000 to 4,000 years ago, when this woman was alive. And the third wave included the Yamnea farmer culture from modern-day Ukraine, who were a bit darker-skinned. Based on this information, Nielsen gave the woman brown hair and eyes, and light skin like the farmers. In the reconstruction, the woman is dressed head to toe in fur and leather. This is the work of Helena Geram, a Sweden-based archaeologist who uses Stone Age techniques for tanning leather. Before dressing the model, Geram studied the ancient climate, landscape, vegetation, and animal life of Neolithic Lugmanseren. Based on what she uncovered, she designed the woman's clothes out of deer, moose and elk, and the shoes out of reindeer, beaver and fox. Geram took inspiration from clothing worn by indigenous Americans and Siberians, as well as the leather clothing of Osti, the Iceman mummy, who lived about 5,300 years ago in the Italian Alps. Preparing the clothes entailed hours of labor. Geram, who acquired real animal remains, scraped the flesh off the skins and then put them in a river, a method that helps loosen the fur from the skin. Next, she scraped off the fur and slathered on a solution made of moose brain, a fatty mixture that bonds with skin fibers. The next several steps involve massaging, boiling, stretching, and smoking the skins, and then finally designing the clothing. Giram made the clothing as comfortable and practical as possible, for instance, by not putting a seam at the top of the shoulder, where water might seep in during rainy weather. Often modern people think of Stone Age humans as primitive, dressed in ugly toga-like furs, but Giram challenged that perception. It would be crazy to think she'd have primitive clothes, Giram told Live Science. Giram wanted to make her dress as you could dress today, because you are both Homo sapiens. Thank you for watching. Alan Ivey for the Neutronium Alchemist. And please, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Oh,